Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about a process and ultra efficient approximate multiplier with error compensation for error resilient applications. Okay, so here the approximate computing is a potential methodology for trading of precisions for improved hardware precisions in error tolerant applications like a neural network and image processing. In this brief, a very effective approximate multiplier with the error corrections is demonstrated here. Okay, the proposed multiplier. Player treats the less important half of the result as a fixed compensating term. Okay, the second half is a carefully computed to give a extremely efficient hardware efficiency trade-off. In the addition, a simple but effective error compensation model that is a ECM is introduced, which greatly improved accuracy to decreases the number of partial product reduction stages and logic sizes in the approximate multiplier model the proposed multipliers was constructed using 4 to 2 compressor 5 to 2 compressor and 7 to 2 compressor to create a 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit multiplier architectures and compared the existing architectures and demonstrated the performance okay this approximate multipliers was implemented into image multiplications and the psnr and SSM values were shown. Furthermore, the accuracy and the efficiency of the proposed multipliers in neural network and image multiplications are accessed with uh, uh, using a modelisms and Xilinx simulations. According to this research, uh, proposed multipliers has a high accuracy equal to the precious multipliers in neural networks and delivers an average uh, PSNR and SSM values in image. Uh, uh, multiplications okay as a result it may be a uh, visible uh, replacement for accurate multipliers and realistic error tolerant applications okay so now we can verify the base paper so this base paper they are design uh, approximate multipliers with the error compensation model okay so here this is the architecture okay this architecture they are constructed using uh, 8 bit uh, with a half adder full address and four to two compressors okay so here this architecture uh, for multiplications first of all we need to generate a number of partial product okay here 8 plus 8 multiplication means so we need to generate 64 partial product okay so this 64 partial product will be placed here okay but they are divided uh, at the point of MSB okay Okay, here this is LSB and this is MSB. Okay, in between they are put the error compensation model. Okay, so this error compensation model uh, will uh, targeted the MSB of the LSB part. Okay, so this is a LSB part of the partial product. Okay, here the most uh, column bit. So this bit, okay, the 4-4 four, four, uh, bit, they will be ordered and it will be given into the carry of the exact part okay so and uh, the output of this uh, uh, constant truncated region okay they are given some values okay zero 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 one one zero okay so as per that we can design it okay and uh, this extract model partial product directions they are used as a half address full address and for us to the compressor now we can focus to reduce this uh, partial product in and to reduce the number of stages uh, with the maximum size of bits that means 16 and 32 bits okay so in that case we are we need to use some more uh, compressor that is a 5s2 compressors and 7s2 compressors okay so this compressors will be used in 16 bit and 32 bit okay and find out the comparisons with performance of uh, simulation error difference okay so now uh, this work we are developed in Verla HGLs okay and we can show that so this is a uh, Verla HGL coding for 8 bit existing one okay so here we have used only uh, four stroke compressors full address and half address okay and uh, and this is a proposed one okay so here we have used uh, four stroke compressor five stroke compressor and seven stroke compressors okay so this is a top model of the architectures okay and uh, this simulation part we are given here okay so this is a simulation okay for eight bit existing okay and uh, here this is a proposed simulation okay so here you can check with using uh, this cursor okay you can check the cursor line and error difference okay so here uh, 132 and 222 means exact output is 2904 but it's here the approximate is 2310 the error difference is 594 okay so based upon that we can verify this output okay and uh, after this 
uh, we can develop the 16 bit multiplications okay existing and proposed and 32 bit multiplications okay so in the video file we can't possible to show all the thing okay for confirmations uh, I'll show the 32 bit results simulation so this is a 32 bit simulation output of existing okay so here you can check the 32 bit so a input is 31 down to 0 b input is 31 down to 0 this is a product that is a 127 down to 0 okay so here this is the approximate output this is a data check uh, accurate output and this is a error difference okay so using this causes we can verify the error difference okay this is a 32 bit existing method and this is a 32 bit proposed method okay so here you can check it okay and uh, after this 32 uh, multiplications uh, we have developed the uh, image multiplications okay so, so this image multiplications uh, initially we need to convert the image into uh, hexadecimal file okay so this is the image uh, inputs okay so this is the image a b and this is image x a x b okay so these are the image input we are given here okay this image input we, we need to convert into the hexadecimal file okay so this is a hexadecimal file okay so once we have converted uh, this image files will be uh, loaded into the memory okay that is a hexadecimal file will be loaded into the memory for this conversions we are using this image to hex and hex to image gy okay so with support of matlab okay okay so here you can check okay uh, this is a file reading code okay so file reading for uh, image one image two okay so once the file reading code read the value and it will be stored into the memory okay a b okay this is the image multiplication and this is a file writing code okay once uh, output done okay so again we need to convert the uh, hexadecimal file into the memory okay for the purpose it will be using okay and this is the image multiplications here we have used controllers and this is the error compensation multiplier okay so this simulation uh, it's showing here okay so here this is a image multiplication simulation so this is a part of multiplication a input b input and this is a controller part and file writing part this one this one is a file reading part okay so this image output so this is a uh, existing 8 bit multiplications image output okay so here uh, image multi for image multiplications uh, the 8 bit uh, multiplications is enough because each pixel value is 8 bit only not 16 bit and 32 bit so if we use a 16 bit and 32 bit in image multiplications we can use only M lsb or msp 8 bit only other bits uh, it's totally uh, loss okay so it's take more area conceptions okay so 8 bit is enough for image multiplication this is a existing uh, image multiplication output and this is a proposed image multiplication output so here you can check the psnr and the ssm values of input and output of the images okay the next step of the output is xilinx synthesis report okay so here this is the output results for 8 bit existing okay so here you can check number of slice lut's occupied slices and io base okay and here you can check the synthesis report Mm, here delay it will be take 16.897 nanosecond here you can check the RTL schematic for uh, 8 bit architecture okay so initially uh, we are given a input and b input to the partial product so once the partial product uh, generated the number of output okay that means a0 b0 2 a is uh, 7 b7 so here this is a 8 bit multiplayer so total partial product is 64 okay so here uh, we are generated 64 partial product but uh, that much partial product we are not used why because the lsb partial products we are reduced totally and we will put the constant value but here we have generated okay so don't worry about that here uh, this is an indicator uh, only generated for which partial product we are taken that output only uh, it will be considered as other outputs a0 b0 a0 b1 a0 b2 so it will optimized automatically okay so that is a synthesis uh, role in the fpga okay so here so once once this partial product generated uh, generated okay it will be connected to uh, the number of half headers and full headers and force to compressors okay so here 
you can check the first two compressor architecture this one okay so uh, the next thing is this is a 8 cross 8 multiplication uh, proposed one okay so here you can check number of slice values and occupied slices i have base uh, okay and you can check the article schematic so here we have designed with uh, some to compressor uh, 5 is to compressors and this is a architecture for 7 is to compressor and this is the architecture for 5 is to compressor so 7 is to compressor using 4 uh, flutters and 7 5 is to compressor with using uh, 3 flutters and uh, 4 is to compressor with using uh, 2 flutters and 1 exer gate okay so the next one is uh, this is a 32 bit uh, existing architecture so here you can check the hotel schematic okay so how much it will be take Okay, so this is a 32 bit architectures okay so 32 bit architectures means it's the biggest one that's why it's showing uh, this much architecture okay in the actual schematic so here you can check the compressors part okay partial product generations okay so you can check it okay and uh, after uh, this output uh, you can check the image multiplications okay this is the image multiplication synthesizer uh, part okay here you can check the number of slice registers LUTs, okay everything okay and uh, after this this parameter output uh, comparisons output uh, we are given into the uh, comparisons table so this is a table for 8 bit approximate multiplier and 16 bit approximate and 32 bit approximate multipliers okay so here you can check the existing and proposed comparisons okay and this is a comparisons analysis chart okay so the next is uh, we have written the abstract document of this project okay so here uh, this is a base paper abstract uh, improvement of this project proposed title and proposed abstract existing system okay and exist for us to compressor architecture okay this one and disadvantages proposed systems okay so proposed systems will give uh, the 5 to 2 compressor architectures and 7 to 2 compressor architecture advantages and related notes okay okay finally let us just away references okay thank you if you need more video related to vlsi project please like and subscribe this channel